Schluter Trep E is designed to protect tiled stair edges and provide an easily visible, slip-resistant wear surface for durable, safe, and visually appealing stair nosing design. The profile can be set onto stairs covered with ceramic tile or natural stone, as well as other stair covering materials. The profile is made of attractive and durable stainless steel and features an integrated slip-resistant tread. Matching end caps are available for TREP E. TREP EK is a variant of the TREP E profile without an anchoring leg that is adhered to existing stairs. Schluter TREP E provides an elegant solution to finish and protect tile edges in stair applications, including areas subjected to heavy foot traffic, such as offices or public buildings. The first step towards a successful project is planning. In this example, we have selected the tile and corresponding profiles and determined the overall layout. TREP E will be used as the stair nosing profile. The Schluter Dialex BWA movement joint will be installed between the tile and stringers and used between the stair treads and risers. We selected the TREP E size according to the thickness and format of the adjacent tile. In addition to tile setting tools, be sure to gather the appropriate cutting tools for the profiles. Depending on the profile material, different tools will be required. For the stainless steel TREP E, we will be using a variable speed angle grinder with the Schluter ProCut TSM cutting wheel. The planning is now complete and we're ready to prepare for installation. In this video, we'll demonstrate the proper installation of the TREP E profile in three commercial stair applications, including tread and riser tiled using the Schluter Ditra uncoupling membrane, tread and riser tiled using the direct bond method, only the tread tiled using the direct bond method. The sequence may vary depending on the layout and installer preference. The TREP E profiles are installed in conjunction with the tiles. The first application will showcase the TREP E being installed in conjunction with tile on the tread and riser over the Schluter Ditra uncoupling membrane. We prepare the riser to receive Ditra by applying a primer suitable for steel substrates. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and drying time of the primer. The DITRA is installed using a rapid setting modified thin set mortar that is approved for use over the primer. Solidly embed the membrane into the thin set mortar. DITRA is installed on the concrete tread using unmodified thin set mortar. Once the DITRA installation is complete, we can begin preparing the profiles. Measure where the TREP E will be installed along the stair nosing. Transfer the measurement to the profile. The TREP E is cut using a variable speed angle grinder with the ProCut TSM cutting wheel. Be sure to observe all safety instructions and standards. Set the angle grinder to the lowest speed. Cut the profile slowly. Using the grinder on high speed or trying to make cuts too fast can result in warping and discoloration of the metal. File the cut end of the profile to remove any burrs. Dry fit the profile before moving forward with the installation. Measure the left side of the tread and the riser where the Dialex BWA will be installed against the stringer. Make sure to position the TREP E where it will be located in the assembly. It can be helpful to place one of the riser tiles under the profile to get an accurate measurement. Transfer the measurements to the profile and cut using Schluter snips or similar. Make sure the blade is sharp to help ensure a clean cut. Dry fit the Dialex BWA. Repeat the process on the right side of the stair. The anchoring leg of the TREP E must be trimmed at the ends to avoid overlap with the Dialex BWA, since this would interfere with the tile installation. Once the profiles have been cut and checked, the installation can begin. Since the profiles and tile will be installed over DITRA, 
We will use unmodified thin set mortar for the remainder of the application. We begin by placing the Dialex BWA on the riser against the stringers. The profile will be held in place with the installation of the adjacent tiles. Using a notched trowel, apply thin set mortar to the riser. Solidly embed the tiles in the thinset mortar. Leave a joint of approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch between the tile and the tread below and between the tile and the Dialex BWA. Apply thinset mortar to the area where the TREP E will be installed. Fill the underside of the profile with thin set mortar. Press the anchoring leg of the profile into the thin set mortar and align. Place the Dialex BWA on the tread against the stringers. Trowel thin set mortar over the profile anchoring legs to ensure full coverage and support of the tile edges on the tread. Solidly embed the tiles into the thin set mortar so that the tiled surface is flush with the surface of the profiles. Leave a joint of approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch between the tile and the profiles. Remove excess setting material from the profiles immediately to avoid any damage to the finish. The next application will showcase the TREP E being installed in conjunction with tile on the tread and riser using the direct bond method. We prepare the riser to receive tile using a primer suitable for steel substrates. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and drying time of the primer. Measure, cut, and dry fit the TREP E where it will be installed along the stair nosing. Measure where the Dialex BWA will be installed along the tread to riser transition and cut using the Schluter snips or similar. Measure and cut the remaining Dialex BWA in the same manner demonstrated previously, making sure to position the TREP E where it will be located in the assembly. Address any areas where the anchoring legs overlap. Once the profiles have been cut and checked, the installation can begin. We begin by placing the Dialex BWA on the riser against the stringers. The profile will be held in place with the installation of the adjacent tiles. For this application, the riser tile is installed using a modified thin set mortar that is approved for use over the primer. Apply the mortar using a notched trowel. Solidly embed the tiles in the thin set mortar. Leave a joint of approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch between the tile and the tread below and between the tile and the Dialex BWA. Apply thin set mortar to the area where the TREP E will be installed. Fill the underside of the profile with thin set mortar. Press the anchoring leg of the profile into the thin set mortar and align. Place the Dialex BWA profiles on the tread against the riser and the stringers. Trowel thin set mortar over the profile anchoring legs to ensure full coverage and support of the tile edges on the tread. Solidly embed the tiles into the thin set mortar so that the tiled surface is flush with the surface of the profiles. Leave a joint of approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch between the tile and the profiles. Remove excess setting material from the profiles immediately to avoid any damage to the finish. The final application will showcase the TREP E being installed in conjunction with tile on the tread with the riser being painted. The process of measuring, cutting, and dry fitting the profiles is repeated. The TREP E must be positioned where it will be located in the assembly in order to get an accurate measurement for the corresponding Dialex BWA profiles. 
In this case, tile is not used to gauge the position of the trep E, since the riser will be painted. Measure and cut the Dialex BWA for the tread to riser transition and the sides of the stair tread. Dry fit the Dialex BWA. Address any areas where the anchoring legs overlap. Once the profiles have been cut and checked, the installation can begin. In this application, apply modified thin set mortar to the area where the TREP E will be installed. Fill the underside of the profile with thinset mortar. Press the anchoring leg of the profile into the thinset mortar and align. Place the Dialex BWA against the riser and stringers. The profile will be held in place with the installation of the adjacent tiles. Trowel thinset mortar over the profile anchoring legs to ensure full coverage and support of the tile edges on the stair tread. Solidly embed the tiles into the thinset mortar so that the tiled surface is flush with the surface of the profiles. Leave a joint of approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch between the tile and the profiles. Remove excess setting material from the profiles immediately to avoid any damage to the finish. The TREP E installation is now complete. With proper planning and execution, the TREP E profile will provide a clean, safe finish and protect tile edges on stairs.